Good morning. You guys are at a bit of a different uh, angle today. I gotta send out the Discord pings. Down here a minute, too. I'm not talking down on you. Hey. All right, one sec. And then I'll talk about what we're doing today. All righty. Just close all this stuff on my phone. Just in case. Just in case. So, good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing all right. Um, today is a bit different. Different. Um, today, the plan is simple. Uh, we're going to fix some PS3 controllers. And by fix, I mean clean. All these are functioning for the most part um but but i got them they're second hand obviously uh and they've probably never been cleaned so i figured uh it would be a good idea to go ahead and do that as well as obviously the uh uh thumbnail one here you can see this is also second hand i got but like just look at those thumbsticks like some kid or some dog was chewing on these like a whole bite has been taken out of the left one there like that is just crazy so i did get some uh replacement thumbsticks they came in some very nice packaging that's a sandwich bag i did not remove them and put them in the sandwich bag that's that's how they came so listening down below not sponsored <sighs> either to avoid these or to get these i don't know um we'll see how it goes Alrighty, for now um i do have like a tub of water and some isopropyl alcohol rubbing alcohol over here uh for cleaning things i guess i could grab some well we'll see how things go i might need to grab like some uh few tips to like uh clean stuff up but yeah Alrighty. This is a bit different for me. This will be the first time doing a stream that's not <laughs> Acro Kodeko. Yeah, the only problem is like with older uh tech, like it's not getting any like easier to find these things, right? And any one that you do get is gonna be second hand. And like the one here where the uh uh thumbsticks have been chewed on. So I was actually gonna get rid of this uh controller, but then I was like, why? I can just fix the uh, thumbsticks and like have an actual usable controller. Let me just see what size I need for the uh, for heads in the back. Um, I do have some other projects I'd like to do. I thought we'd start out pretty simple with just like replacing uh, these uh, thumbsticks and like cleaning up the controllers. But I do have like a Wii that I'm pretty sure the guy who I bought it from turned around and uh, spent the money on drugs and alcohol. Um, and so it's pretty grody, but I'd like to get it cleaned out and working. Um, I have a uh, uh, Nintendo 64 where the reset button is stuck down. Uh, that's the same Nintendo 64 I used to play like Mario Kart with my grandma on. So I'd like to get that working. <laughs> um, I do have it set up so we can Test these out and make sure they still work um, on the PS3 once we get through here. So, yeah, I think this is about the right size we're going to need. Uh, I am not... Uh, disclaimer, for anybody who's watching this in the future, I am not a professional cleaner. I just know how to take apart uh, controllers, kind of, and I can follow along a YouTube video. Um, I'll be following along... Uh, this video here, how to clean up play 
PlayStation 3 controller by like, uh, was it X Spank or whatever it is? It's in the description. So somebody is watching this like later on, hoping to uh, figure out how to clean their own. Maybe you just, uh, yeah, text bank. I know. Yeah, um, controllers aren't too bad. So I've done this with my Xbox 360 controllers and controllers aren't too bad because what it is is um, there's just a plastic shell, right? Uh, so what it is is controllers are just a plastic shell with a single board. Um, in there with like the thumbsticks and the motors um, usually these ones are a bit different from the xbox 360 controllers because they do have like an internal battery so that'll be a bit different for me but yeah so um yeah i do have a like a ps3 that's broken so maybe i could take that apart on stream at some point maybe that would be a good idea because that was the first one i got um and then like apparently it, it died it was a fairly common death so uh the ps3 is not a game console i have like childhood memories of but it was like the first console i bought when i got money so from like my part-time job in high school all right i should probably pause the music while we're trying to watch the uh, tutorial video a minute all right all right so here's our dirty controller we're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Yep. Some Windex and some paper towels to clean her out. You could also use isopropyl so alcohol instead of the Windex. To flip it over, there's five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Take those five out. Okay. I guess we'll do that first. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of fun. Um, I though so my computer's recently been dead for like the last two weeks, so I pulled out all my old stuff, and so uh, I have like a lot of projects. Like I have a lot of old tech that's never been cleaned out. Um, I'm not like super technologically fancy where I can like resolder a chip or something, but I can like you know. Do undo a few screws, pull the board out of a plastic shell, and like, um, put it back in, hopefully. Let me just pull out the thing for keeping track of screws here a minute. Cool. Matt, for that. I'm a little surprised that, uh, a lot of these, uh, controllers and stuff have a like warranty sticker or like a uh yeah like a warranty sticker on them because originally the plan was for you to bring this into a like official repair place of some kind to get these repaired obviously but you know so there was a warranty sticker on them to make sure you hadn't messed with it and then broken it yourself i think we need to move up one size this one's having a bit of issues So like a lot of them have that where uh, there's like a sticker over one of the screws. So to take it apart, you have to like remove that warranty sticker. So I'm a little surprised that that's not the case with these uh, PS3 controllers. I figured we'd start with like the two normal ones. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of like take one apart let it, the individual pieces soak and then uh, grab another one while it's soaking and start taking that one apart. Because uh, I have a bucket of, well, a bucket, a uh, little tub here of warm water for them to soak in a minute. And then I'll ro uh, rub them down with like isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol to clean them up a bit more. Um, so if, just so we can keep moving. I don't know how long this will take, but yeah. Oh, it's just a project that I got to do anyway. Same as like the Wii one and the N64 one. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to stream. But at least if I mess up, I get something out of it, right? Plus, uh, this is like the first time I've done a stream where it's not just playing a video game. For better or for worse. 
Well, that one's, you know... I only got one of them out, but not the one I was trying to get out. Fun. That one's being a little bit of... Bit funky. Here, come here, you. Come on. Hey. Way too epic for me trying to take some screw out. Holy cow, that's a long song. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that tracks, okay. What the heck? Why is this song so lo long? Holy cow, how long is this song? Okay. There we go. There it is. Finally. You're a annoying little bugger, aren't you? Alright. So that's one, two, three out. We got two more to go. I guess I should probably, like, do it over here so you can actually see what I'm doing, yeah? Sorry, still working out the kinks of this whole setup. Uh, it's, it's very different than my usual setup. Kind of threw it together last night. I might be able to make it a bit better in the future. Like, maybe it would be better to be, like, over my shoulder, like, my left shoulder or something. <laughs> yeah, I never played any of the Animal Crossing games, like, uh, at all. I should probably go back and play. One thing I've been doing recently is organizing my backlog. I managed to get it down to, like, 200-some games. But I think I'll have to, like, pare it down a bit more if I want to complete it in, like, the next few years. I don't know. I don't know if I'm setting a, like, specific date on when I want to complete that list. I just thought it would be a good idea to, like, kind of list them all out and figure out, like, how long it'll take to beat them or, you know, play through them or whatever. Or at least, you know, just have a list. Come on. We're really stubborn screws here. Wild World. Yeah. Is the uh, new one for Switch fun? I know people were really into it during the pandemic, but I don't know if that's just because it was a decent game to play during the pandemic, or like if it's just a decent game overall. Hey, Gerudo Town. Yeah, one thing I want to do is go back and play um, Breath of the Wild with mods. Um, once I get my computer build finalized, so it's a bit more powerful, I'd like to go back and like try some like Linkle or um, Princess Zelda mods um, and play through Master Mode or whatever. Because I never actually did that. Especially around the time that uh, Breath of the Wild 2 is supposed to come out. The villagers are kind of one to my channel. Yeah, I guess they would have to be, right? Because they're, uh, you can only have so many villagers and that's kind of like random which ones you get and you just have to keep trying over and over to get the ones you want. I remember seeing that because people were like bragging about having such and such villager or whatever or wanting such a villager. Hey, there we go. All right. Okay, so I got all the four screws out. What's next? So once you get all five screws out, you can then hold the controller like this and pull it apart. Notice how I'm pulling from there. It's the easiest okay. way to do it. Then, the trick here is to try to get the back, off, back of the controller off without pulling these buttons off, because that'll make your life a lot easier later on. So, you kind of jiggle it up and forward, and then take it off like that, and you can set that aside. If there's any dirt in here, you can get some canned air or some Windex. Yeah, um, alright, so we want to pull from the bottom. 
Maybe I could grab something to like kind of help. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel like it's very um <clears throat> similar to uh, like Harvest Moon or uh, um was it like not Factorio? What am I thinking of? There's like a there's like a Harvest Moon, but it's like got RPG action elements and is a lot more anime. But yeah, um, Stardew Valley, same kind of deal, I think. That's another one I should probably put on the list. I think that one might be on the list already. It's hard to remember what all is on the list. Let me double check. I got all five screws out. Yeah, okay. Just gonna pull from the bottom. Oh, this is a bit of a... Not wanna come apart. Probably got a bunch of dirt caked in there. I can get my fingernails in there and kind of like start pulling it apart. Oh yeah, not want to come apart. I think he already cleaned his, so his is like just a. Good. Um, let me double check that I got all five screws. Yeah, I got all five screws. So at this point, it's just being held together by uh, dirt and grime. Right. That's a good sign. Well, I guess we need. I knew it needed to get cleaned out anyway. Come on. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to give. Get the other side and kind of pull in from there. There's both. Okay, so that's both the grips starting to come undone. We. Feels like there should be another screw back here that's keeping this down. It's crazy how much it does not want to come apart. Oh, wait, just as I say that. Okay. Okay. Um, dude. I think one of them is going to come off. Okay. So good news and bad news. I got the back off. Um, but unfortunately, one of the um, trigger buttons came off. I, this, that's fine. We can put these back on. But there's just like a little spring on the side there that's going to be a bit challenging to get back in. I've watched the video at least once or twice through before. So, good news and bad news. I guess you could also take these off if they're looking really grody. Because they these are like the trigger buttons, you know? So I could see these getting pretty grody too. Um, but uh, unlike what I'm doing where I'm throwing these in most of these things in like some hot water over here, I would not do that with these, uh, the trigger specifically. I just wipe them down um, either with water or like rubbing alcohol or Windex or something just because they've got that little spring there and you definitely don't want that to like start rusting or anything. Oh gosh. Okay. It looks like a lot of hair coming off these things. I mean, just so you can see what we got going on here. Um, this is the removable battery here. I think that's going to be in the next part. Well, yeah, th this is the internal battery. But removing that's probably going to be the next step. You can see the motors here, here. Um, this is pretty standard in controllers. So when the controller vibrates, that's what these are. Uh, they're just vibrating motors in the uh handles there so that's like you know when you get hit and it vibrates that's what is uh going on there oh. pull up the video and watch a bit further a bit i can just clean it out too it's a good idea since you have it open already the next step is to remove the battery. Right. So now, don't 144 just pull on these pump it up to at least because that could damage this connector. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is get a small flathead screwdriver and kind of jiggle it gently out 
And if it doesn't come out at first, you can use these little holes here, these slots, and kind of push the connector out from the inside. Next, you want to take this small Phillips head. Okay, so yeah, removing the battery is the next. Okay. So, like I was talking about, this is the uh, uh, internal rechargeable battery here. So, to get it out, we're going to have to, like, push on these little pins here that are keeping it in, and then we can slot that back in later. So, he used um, a little flathead screwdriver. Oh, shoot. Well, there goes the other... L trigger button. That's fine. It'll be good practice to get these uh, those back in. I'm sure uh, maybe on the other ones I can make sure they don't come off. Save myself some time. Anyway, he used a little flathead screwdriver. Um, that's fine. I am going to do something a little different. I have a pair of tweezers here that I'm just gonna use. Pretty thin. Just like something pretty thin and stuff. Um, you can like pull but I wouldn't like yank so you can pull on this but I wouldn't yank on it just because you don't want to like rip anything like this is the internal battery so if you like rip these cables rip the controller uh basically. but wiggle that and get yourself some room Just a bit farther. Yeah, the thing about like Harvest Moon or um, Animal Crossing and stuff is that they take up so much time. I know it's like kind of, you know, it's I'm sh they're very relaxing games, but they do take up a lot of time. I know it's kind of one of those games I wish I was into as a kid because when I had all the free time in the world, you know. But uh, nowadays it's a little hard to hard to find the time you know like today after today i have to go and play a bunch of persona 3 fez uh to work on video stuff and then uh throughout the week all my time is probably going to be dedicated towards um uh persona 5 royal and getting through new game plus um so we can try and get 100 percent before persona 3 portable comes to us um theme and stuff which is pretty exciting. I'm I'm excited to do uh, the female route and all that. So that'll be fun. Why is there so like much like epic music in this? This is supposed to be chill and calm Nintendo music for calm and stuff and relax, not epic RPG music. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've been playing um Persona Five Royal on stream, and the plan is to uh get a hundred percent soon. I finished the game already. I'm just working on, like, the Thieves' Den stuff right now. Um, so I've still got to do, like, the extra boss, New Game Plus boss fights and stuff, and the uh, um, MC boss fights from the DLC. And then, uh... Oh, one sec. family was heading out to uh do a shopping run and they wanted to know if i wanted to come with like i'm a little bit in the middle of something right now so I do. okay so this is not going as well as i'd hoped i thought this would be a bit easier to get out i don't want to like wrench anything is my thing you know i don't want to like but yeah um Definitely, uh, once, uh, Persona 3 Portable comes out, I'm definitely doing the, uh, female route. 
on stream. You know, once I get through that, I'll have played, like, all of the Persona games from 3 onwards. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, I haven't played Persona 3 Portable before, so... Um, I'm definitely going to do the female route. Just because I want to see all the new stuff from that and all that. Um... Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, trying to wiggle this out without, like, breaking anything. Should I look back and see how he did it, maybe? Might want to rewatch what he did. I thought this would be easier than it is. There we go. I got it. All right. Cool. So that's the uh, internal battery attachments. Surprising how small this is. I wonder if there are like uh, third-party batteries that are like replaceable. These that would be a bit better. Um, although you'd probably have to do that at some point. I I bet these will eventually fail. So like a bunch of PS3 controllers will just not work because the internal battery needs to be replaced. Oh yeah, that's true. I know people love um, Akihiko a lot. I see why. All right. Next. I'm more interested in seeing more about um, Junpei, honestly. Depending on which model you have, this particular one, which is the most popular and recent model, has a large plastic. Uh, tray almost that connects everything. Some of them don't have trays that connect the motors to the rest of the controller. So this one does, and I'll show you how to remove it. You, there's small tabs on the left and right side of each motor. Three, four. So what you want to do is release the tabs one at a time using a screwdriver or your fingernail. And that allows you to lift up. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I I wanted to see more about Junpei because uh, he barely talks about like his family and stuff, but uh, you know, at least in the main game, on the original like game. These, these little clips on either side here. Gotta yeah, like squeeze and like pull up on. Or like get a screwdriver in there and like. Yeah, I mean, there's a way to save her after, which is a bit mixed. I'm a bit mixed on that, because it really does. It's a big, po important part of uh, Junpei's uh, character growth, but... Yeah. I guess people really wanted to be able to save her. I think there's a lot of hair in, like, the motor here and stuff. That's a bit interesting. Yeah. Alright, let me, uh... Let me see. Maybe I have like a flat head that would make this easier. Um, I think I have a flat head. I should have a flat head with this many types of screws. There we go. What's going on? Pikmin 2 music. Awakening Wood. Okay, here we go. Am 
imagine being so bad at being a chill, um, Nintendo music, I have to, like, constantly skip through the chill music. Maybe we should pick a different playlist. <laughs> Uh, that's true. It'll be interesting to see all those female routes as friends now. And I think there's even a few, uh, um, routes, or, like, um, there we go. There's a few, uh, social links that are unique to the female, um, per um, female protagonist. Plus, then I can finally play Persona Q and Q2. Yeah, finally. As if I want to play that. I don't know. Q and Q2 are interesting from, like, a fan perspective, but, like, from a gameplay perspective, they can get pretty fixed. They're very different than um, a lot of the uh, other Persona games, for obvious reasons. They're much more like Etrian Odyssey games, which I have played a bit of Etrian Odyssey games on the DS uh, and everything, and they're fine, but they're very different than uh, regular Persona games, obviously. I'm having trouble getting both these up and then, like, getting the, uh... motor out. There we go. Okay, so that side's good. Yeah, um, I tried Q a little bit, but it's very, it's very different, um, than, uh, like I said, than other Persona games, because it's all dungeon crawling. It's kind of like, it reminds me a lot of, uh, um, The Answer, which, uh, for some people is, like, just saying that I'm sure will trigger a flight or fight response in them on that one. Because a lot of people do not like the gameplay of the answer. I think it's okay, but I think that uh, it's a, it's not great. I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of skip out on those because, like, they're, uh, you know, just side games and stuff. Like, if they're not your, to your genre to tastes, like, fighting games and, uh, rhythm games. Especially with the, like, way you have to buy Persona 3 and Persona... F Is it... Like, the, uh, dancing games I th are, like, horrible price points or whatever. Wait, take a look again at that, uh... Allows you to lift up. Do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, it has some uh, interesting dialogue from the characters, and like, you know, you get to see a bit of their backstory and stuff, and like, how they came to awaken their persona, but you don't really get too much more other than that from the answer. And like, there's a lot of like, uh, dungeons and like, level grinding, so it was a lot playing it right after the main game. Like, I kind of lost it a little bit on that one. Maybe try a smaller flathead. Yeah. I mean, if you want to listen to the songs, or you can find them on YouTube or whatever, right? You can just watch, like, gameplay and stuff. I think 4 actually had, like, some story to it. Yeah, yeah. 4 had some story to it that people kind of like, but, uh... And it does get referenced in Persona 5 Royal with those, uh, like, posters and stuff. But 
other than that, like... Oh gosh, darn it. Yes. Hilda's Despair. How is this chill and calm Nintendo music? It's Hilda's Despair. I feel like I'm not doing a good job of getting these uh pins out. Or not pins, but like these tabs. And he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Through the power of editing and already having a complete cleaned uh, PS3 controller. Almost need like two of these things. Because like every time I pull up on one, the other, like, will snap back into place. I don't pull on the motors too much. Holy cow, this is freaking annoying, and I keep going around in circles and circles. Alright. Yeah, some of the remixes are pretty bad. Yeah, like, every time I pull up on one, the other goes right back to the other, where it was. What is this? It's, like, not even... Okay, hold up. Uh... What's one I've listened to? Oh, this one. There we go. That's better. All right. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, my problem is when I pull up on this one, this one goes back into place, and then I pull up on this one, and then this one pops back into place. So it's like constantly just a battle of like one after the other. Let's try the other side a minute. Let me try the other side like the other motor a minute and see if I can get that one out first. Maybe that'll make it easier to get this one out. You know what um, game I had as a kid that's like kind of the same as Animal Crossing, like occupies the same spot in my mind, is uh, Viva Pinata. It's a game developed by Rare um, for like the Xbox 360 and stuff where you would uh, take care of living pinatas. I think it had, like, a TV show and stuff to it. Like, an animated TV show. Um, about the pinatas living on their island and stuff. It was a fun game. It is a fun game. It's a nice, very relaxing game. As, uh, the designs are pretty cute. It got a sequel, too. Trouble in Paradise, which added, like, a snow and, like, desert area. Um, for you to get pinatas out of. Like, some other stuff. Gosh darn it. This right, I'm going to wear away the plastic before I actually get it to...
Have you played uh, Scarlet or Violet yet? Yeah, sure. I've seen that they've had a mixed reception, mostly in due, uh, due in part to the uh, fact that, uh, you know, they're plagued with a bunch of bugs and everything. So. I wonder if I, like... Let me just double check again. Yeah. Um. Motors. Like I said, just kind of mixed up because of the uh, performance issues. Do the same thing on the other side. And that screwdriver, or what you want to do is side of each. So this one has trays that connect the motors to the rest of the controller. So this one does, and I'll show you how to remove it. You there's small tabs on the left and right side of each motor, three, four. So what you want to do is release the tabs one at a time using a screwdriver or your fingernail. Okay, it makes it look so easy. And that allows you to lift up. Do the same thing on the other side. Makes it look so easy. And that frees the motors. Okay. Yeah. I also heard people complaining about uh how empty some of the like towns feel. Like they just copy paste like same few buildings over and over again a lot and like the sandwich shops and stuff. Um and like you can't go into a lot of the buildings. Which, you know kind of a yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, Game Freak probably didn't get the time that they needed to make sure it was released in a good state. Just because they were probably told to make it right after finishing Arceus. Or like during Arceus even. Probably what it was, was the development of Arceus and uh, Scarlet and Violet was parallel. And then once uh, Arceus was done, they moved everybody um, who's working on Arceus over to Violet, Scarlet and Violet, to finish out before, for like a holiday release or whatever. Because like the games, <laughs> yeah, or like menus or whatever, yeah, most of the shops are just menus instead of like you can actually walk in and like talk to a cashier or whatever um come on baby come on i'm so close i got both the tabs popped out catching on that it's catching on That's fine. Oh. Keep in mind, I still have to do like two more of these things. He's OP. Hopefully, the other ones are a bit easier once I've done this first one. Hey, yo. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all of that to you. Yeah. 
Because the thing about the video games at this point is, um, they're, like, they don't make as much money as the, uh, um, merch and everything, right? So they're, like, they have to come out when the merch is ready to go out and everything, right? Like, there's no delays on a Pokemon game because all the merch and everything and the anime and everything has to come out, um, at the same time. So there's, like, a coordinated effort that has to be made to make sure all of that goes out at, at the same time. So, like, the games are almost, like, secondary at this point where, like, A, they sell well no matter how badly Game Freak does on them at this point, which is a bit sad. Um, and B, um, they have to go out when all the merch stuff and everything is ready to go out. is for i'm not gonna mess with it all right my goodness holy cow this thing really does not want to come out maybe if i pull on the side and just... yeah i mean it is what it is right like That's the hard part, right? Like, because people want to play it as soon as the game comes out so they don't get spoiled or anything. But honestly, you're, you might be better off, like, waiting a week just to see if the game is good or not, you know? Or, like, waiting for the day one patch or whatever. Week one patch or whatever. Oh my gosh. He, make it, he made it look so easy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um yeah, Assassin's Creed is a bit interesting cuz it like gets has it gotten a release lately? I feel like it Um I feel like it hasn't gotten a release lately or have I just not been paying attention to that series? I want to go back and play some of the games like uh, Black Flag or uh the uh, American Revolution one just for the funsies, but uh like I don't know come on I think we're back to square one on the one on the right jeez oh Pete who knew the hardest part would be uh getting the motors out do we need to get the motors out? We need to get the motors out. Because it's, like, in the plastic shell. Okay. Alright, let me... Get this off my lap. Gotcha. 80 hours just for the main story? Sounds like a Persona game. You know, I put 220 hours or something into the, um, into the Persona 5 Royal... Um, before I finish the main game for the first time. But yeah. I'm not sure if I'm bragging or lamenting that fact, but yeah. Oh, come on, we almost had it. Almost had it. Yeah, I mean, you could beat it in, like, 68 eight hours easy, um, if you don't care about, like, doing a bunch of the side stuff or whatever. Or, like, you don't grind a ton like I did, which was honestly really unnecessary for that game. The game is not hard, 
I will say that. Thank goodness. I'm starting to break off parts of the plastic rather than get it actually out of there. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is a lot of been a lot of fun. Um. Here, I thought this would be the easy thing to start with. Yeah, the motors were an issue in uh the Xbox 360 controller as well, but that's because uh they are just free. So if you don't disconnect them from the board, they just kind of dangle around and are like hard to get back in. Once I uh... you uh get them out. Like, they're the hardest part of getting the controller back together. Ooh, this is a Twilight Princess. First town? Yeah, Farron Woods, okay. I wanna go back and play uh, Twilight Princess HD. That's on my uh, um, games to play list. Cause I played through the original Twilight, well, yeah, Twilight Princess for the Wii quite a bit, but then I think I soft locked myself in like a room where I needed a key that or I just didn't understand what I needed to do next as like a child and then like I don't know I, I never finished the game even though I think I was like three-fourths of the way through it so yeah playing the HD version and going back and actually finishing it at some point would be fun I would say fun <laughs> Yeah, it's very different than a lot of the Zelda games. Uh, to some people's uh, dislike and to some people's liking. It's very early 2000s, I'll say that. Come on. Like, no room for it to go up. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me look at what he did one more time. See if I can figure this out, because this is getting ridiculous. Down, what is and that allows you to lift. What I want to do is... Release he makes it look one at a time using a screwdriver or your fingernail, and that allows you to lift up. Do the same thing on the other side. Easy, he makes it look, and that frees the motors. Okay, once those are slightly free, you want to lift up on the buttons. Slightly, the trigger buttons here on the back. Oh, am I not supposed to pull them out yet? Oh, I'm just supposed to get them free. Become loose. Once they're loose. Oh, okay. Then. That makes more sense. Assembly can be released. That makes more sense. Okay, so I don't need to take them out yet. Okay, I just need to get them loose, and then I need to, like, remove those shoulder buttons, and then we can pull everything out. That makes more sense. All right. This is why you watch the entire video and not just... I did watch it last night, but clearly I forgot about that bit. Okay. But yeah. Let's try this one more time. Lift up here. Here. Okay. That's kind of free. Here. Nope. 
Come on. Come on. There we go. I think. <clears throat> Man, I thought this was going to be relatively easy. I gotta do this at least two more times if I want to get all three of these cleaned. Um, I think maybe we just do the thumbstick one next, just to make sure that one gets done. And then, uh, we can do the the uh, blue one last. Because this is getting ridiculous. Alright. Well then, let's remove... The, uh, shoulder buttons a minute. Whatever. We'll remove the shoulder buttons a minute, and then I'll come back around to the... Those. And then we'll come back around to the motors when it's time to lift the whole assembly out of the... Uh... Okay. So... Uh, the only ones plays Skyward Sword Breath of the Wild. Yeah, um, I think I've played Majora's Mask as well, and then Minish Cap was a big part of my childhood. I had a copy of it for the GBA, um, obviously, because that's the system it came out on. But, uh, the copy I had was secondhand, and it wouldn't take a save. Like, it would not keep a save. So, what I ended up having to do is if I wanted to play it, I would just, like, leave on the Game Boy and leave it plugged in for like overnight and stuff and i got like a good chunk of the way through the game one time like that but uh then i forgot to plug it in one day and then i lost all my progress obviously so that was um well it was disheartening as a kid but you know fun in quotation mark Yeah, the, uh, uh, Minish Cap one is kind of interesting, because it's, like, one of the only ones uh, not developed by Nintendo themselves, like Legend of Zelda games. It's developed by Capcom instead. So, that's kind of interesting. Oh my gosh. Like, how? Oh, my gosh. Abracadabra! Doomity Zoo! I command you! Good gosh darn work. Um... Come on. Okay, that's that side out. Yes, okay, so now let's do the other side. Oh my gosh, the other side just popped back in, didn't it? Oh, it popped back. Yeah, okay, so... Come on, I got one side. Surely I can get another. How did he do it so easily? I don't understand. Like, what am I missing here? It's just two tabs. It's literally just two tabs. Holy cow. I'm getting a little annoyed. Oh no.
Boom. So I got one side up. But I couldn't... I cannot get the other side up. Cannot get it up. I swear this never happens. Okay. Um... just be able to pinch both sides and like pull up here let me see if i can pinch both sides with my fingers and then like leverage it up with the screwdriver a bit without breaking things okay that kind of works there's like something sticking it to the bottom my issue it looks like there might be like something sticking it to the bottom of the uh, controller there like a sticky pad or something that might be my problem Did I get it? I think I got it. As long as it doesn't snap back into place. Come on, baby. Come on. Alright. I think that's out of its housing. Okay. So, how did he pull this thing out? That aside for now. Since what will be these buttons slightly, the trigger buttons here on the back, just a little bit so that way button one L and R become loose. Once they're loose, you take them out. Then the entire assembly can be released. Let's try this then. The entire assembly can be released. No, it's still stuck on the bottom. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should be trying to pull. I do this and then this and then pull up on this well because okay hold up maybe I, I've been doing this wrong the whole time maybe if I pull out and then pull up I don't want to put a bunch of force on that like little drive shaft um How does he make it look so easy and yet it's so not? It's so not. Oh my gosh. Uh should I look at a different video? If they have any tips on getting these motors out or if I'm doing something wrong here. I must be doing something wrong, right? Otherwise wouldn't have uh been such an issue, but for the life of me figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, okay. Yeah, it just snaps right back into place as soon as I get it out of there. Well, I guess this is why you always test things off stream, yeah? Well. I try a bigger flathead. Sorry, I'll put the music back on a minute. Pop, 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 um. Okay. We already been at this for an hour. Jeez. 
We've been at this for an hour and I haven't even gotten like one. Alright. This is familiar. Where have I heard this? Oh, it's from my Animal Crossing New Leaf. No wonder. Like, I heard that on YouTube. Where is it from? Animal Crossing New Leaf. Maybe I should have gone smaller. I have no idea at this point. How did he make it so effortless? It's just that little tab at the bottom. That's like, screwing me over. Oh my god. Oh. Should I try a different one? Should I just put the this back on? I'm a little... Hmm. Alright. Well, clearly this is not working out as well as I'd hoped. Okay. Yeah, you can see, like, I've attempted to, uh, get that little tab out so many times at this point, and it's starting to, like, rub off part of the plastic there. And yet it still won't come out. Um... I just put it back in there a bit more. All right, I think I went too big. I gotta go smaller. Why don't we try the tweezers? You know what? I've been trying this flathead screwdriver the whole time. Let's mix it up. We'll try something else. We'll try the little tweezers. And he thinks tweezers are not meant to be a leverage tool, but... Oh my gosh. It made me how stupid this is. Okay, um... I just pull on both sides. Should just be two pinch in and then like lift. Are my hands too big? Are my hands too big and my arms too small? I don't know if this plan was very well thought through. Okay. Um Meet the Robinsons reference the T Rex. Uh okay. <clears throat> Eh. 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 This is so dumb. Okay. Um. Do I just put the battery back on and put this thing back together a minute? Like, I think that might be the only option I have at this point. I could try the, uh, um, and get the thumbsticks back on this one. See if this is e any easier to get out. I don't want this stream to end in failure, though. I don't want to break something. That would be a failure. Imagine I come out of this stream with, like, one or two less controllers than I had going in. Um, okay. So, I think...
At the very least, let me put the back in the water here and let that soak for a bit because that's kind of looking kind of grody. Um, we'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to set this one off to the side for the minute, and we'll circle back around to that one, I think. Um, either to put back together or to uh, see if we can get the motors off. If I figure out a good way of doing that with the other ones. I'm going to go ahead and try and get the uh, one with the messed up thumbsticks off a minute, and we'll see if we can get that one a bit better. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a different model. Not all of them have that... Uh, like plastic case thing that's keeping the uh that's keeping the uh motors in there a minute so maybe we'll get lucky and i won't have to deal with that in this one all right like get here one and then let me put some of this other stuff back in there before i forget all right so like before we're going to take out the four or the five screws out of the back um again i'm going to keep them together on this little magnetic mat over here I thought it was a one, but maybe it was a bit smaller. Yeah, Breath of Wild 2 should be fun um, when it comes out. I think that's sometime in, in the next year or so, isn't it? There's a lot of good stuff that's supposed to be coming up and releasing this year. Probably some of it will get delayed, but, you know, that's what it is. funny to me that um a lot of the songs that this um playlist is playing are songs that i know from like the actual game like this one is uh from uh should be from red rescue team and blue rescue team. right no it's uh sorry my bad wrong uh mystery dungeon game it's from explorers of time and uh darkness and sky i gotta play the remake of uh pokemon red blue at some point because they made a remake of the original pokemon mystery dungeon for switch um but using some of the mechanics from uh the newer games i'll have to try it out and see if it's decent at least i haven't bought a ton of switch games i just have like the quintessential super smash bros ultimate uh mario kart 8 and uh um breath of the wild i don't really have like a ton of other which games maybe that's just partially the price and everything but like yeah i just don't have a ton of them i guess i have some that are downloaded on to the switch like uh um cuphead and uh child of light and stuff bastion Uh, World Ends With You Neo, I believe, is on there, too. That game was a bit disappointing. Honestly, they missed their boat on making a good sequel for that. Oh, shoot. Don't try and turn on. No, don't try and turn on. Don't try and turn on. Oh, gosh darn it. Now the PS3 is trying to turn on. Well... Turn the PS3 back off. My foot. Down there somewhere. There we go. Yeah, for whatever reason, these uh, screws in the back are really hard to get out. 
I think they've really been worn down a lot over the time over time. Yeah. Like they're really rough. Hopefully there's no issues getting them back in. Alright, so one, two. Bit just too big, or are these? I think this bit is still too big. Okay, so this is definitely red. No, this is the remake. Okay. Literally, talk about it, and it shall appear. Apparently. I think I need to go even smaller. It's still he's still too big how big how small are these screws holy cow yeah that should be a right about the right size they're just really bad screws i guess still in there i'd almost want to replace them if i had replacements just so worn down can't even get a good fix on them with my screwdriver well maybe we can go one smaller i guess you can even go one smaller i think this is zero how small can you go i guess i have triple zero and double zero on quadruple zero Yeah, I guess maybe I should have uh, just do done something else I was a bit more familiar with. Like, I have to um, fix some, uh, replace some thumbsticks and clean out some old Xbox controllers. Maybe that would have been a bit easier because they're a bit closer to something I've already done before. Maybe this too is small i don't even know i'm not an expert in like tools and stuff so i don't know if i'm going too big or too small well either way i wanted to try something a bit different anyway um even if this doesn't pan out i wanted to try uh something a bit different for content because all i do is stream video games and like th this has been kind of mixed um I guess maybe I should have chosen a different project to start with and try, but uh, it's been a good experiment at the very least. Um, I think if at two hours we're still struggling to get any farther, I'll just have to call it just because, goodness gracious, and I'll maybe tackle this again another day on my own time or whatever, or maybe these will be permanently dirty. No, I'd rather tackle these again on my own time than see them permanently. But yeah. No. All right. I think I found the right screw head drive at least. Like I said, these projects are something I want to do anyway. I thought I'd be starting out relatively simple, I guess. I'm defeated by two small pieces of plastic, huh?
I think that one's loose. There we go. Yeah, sometimes these screws are loose. They just don't want to come out. The end of the screwdriver is magnetic, so they should just want to come out, but sometimes they do not. That one also loose? Nope. Just being stubborn. Sorry, I keep forgetting I gotta put this up on the desk while I'm working on it so you guys can see what I'm doing, actually. Well, by the way, this has been an interesting test run. There's some things about this setup that I'd like to change, obviously, um, and maybe try something a bit different next time. Uh, man, they make it look so easy on the video, and then like you go and try and do it yourself, and it's not quite as easy. Surprise, surprise. Especially since like the one he had was like barely, it wasn't even grimy at all. Like there wasn't any dirt in it or anything. He had already cleaned it out. Like it was like very clean and like came apart pretty easily. Oh, I'm guessing he did that cleaned out that controller and did it like multiple times with like the same controller until he got a good take. That's what I would do anyway. Yeah, I don't know. These uh, screws, they just refuse to come out. Yeah, no, it's absolutely okay i have no idea i'll be honest with you um i'd like to clean these up a bit more but at this point i'd rather not break anything uh and still have all of these still intact so i think we're just gonna put these screws that i took back out in on the this one here and uh we'll start putting the uh, black one back together after I clean it up here a minute and uh, I'll just have to I think I call it today and I'll try a different project next time one that I'm a bit more familiar with maybe like the Xbox controllers or um, we can take a look at just like cleaning up uh, the Nintendo 64 and get that working something It's a bit of a shame, but oh well. I'd rather not have the best stream than like break something, obviously. Like, if this is a bad stream, then I have to live with that for like the next couple of hours, but if, or day or so, but if this is a, but if like one of the controllers breaks, then I have to live with that for like, so I can figure out how to fix it or get a different one, you know? So. Maybe we should use our one? I have no idea at this point. The screwdriver. I can already tell getting this, these back together is going to be a pain as much as getting them apart was. So that's fun. Come on, baby. Come on.
Oh, this is familiar. Pokemon game of some kind. Um, I'm gonna guess Pokemon Silver and Gold. Black and white. I was not close. Well, I was close on Pokemon, but. Why is that golden so still? This is like way too. Like advanced uh, for the original gold and silver. Huh. Well, at least I can. I got to test out one thing. Um, my internet's good en enough to do 1920 by 1080. That's cool. Maybe I'll do that in the future with uh, other other streams, you know. It was 30 frames, but uh, per second, but it did do 1920 by 1080 pretty well. 0.1% of dropped frames, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. I'll have to trans uh, do that for future streams too, hopefully. I did kind of want to test and see um, if my piece, new PC and stuff could handle uh, like streaming at higher resolutions and uh, frame rates. So, I mean, this isn't the best test because I don't have like a game running or anything. But uh, all right, those are back in. So yeah, all right. Grab a paper towel here and we'll back of the black controller a minute. Still some junk in Try this off. Looks a bit better, I guess, but you know, it's just the back, so it's not like I'm gonna look at that often. Oh well, at least I'll be putting my hands on it, so it'll be a bit better than that. Yeah, I'd wanted to clean up a bit more, but oh well. A dirty controller is better than a broken controller. If I get better at this, I can always go back and clean a dirty controller, but if I permanently break a working controller, it's going to be a big oopsie. All right, I'm going to let that dry out a bit over there while we get the uh, battery and stuff back in. Triggers are going to be a bit annoying because we have to get those back in too. But yeah, so. I wonder if I should do those first. Um, I think we should start working backward. So. I really want to get these apart and cleaned up, but. Especially now seeing how dirty they are, like on the inside and everything. Well. It'll be a project on my For now, let me, uh... This is one, so this goes over here. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Come on, baby. Yeah, the dual shock seems to be a lot more complicated to take apart and put back together than the uh, um, Xbox 360 controllers I had tried before. The uh.
just jiggle it until it gets in there. <laughs> okay. You want to put the uh, L1 and R1 triggers back in, and they slide in from the top, like so. Then once those are in, you have to take this assembly and kind of slide it down into place. Same on both sides, make sure that the buttons feel all right. Now a lot of people might have some problems with the, um, the L2 and R2 trigger buttons coming out. Now let me show you how to get those back in properly. I'm gonna take them out on purpose. You should try to fix your controller without taking them out, but if they do come out, it's an easy fix. There's a small spring here. Let me show you, there we go. See the small spring? Put them back in. You want to move the spring up like that, so that way it catches. See how it's catching? Okay. Works for me. First things first, let's put those uh, back in. Slide back in my butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yet another thing that you made look so easy is not easy. Well, maybe it's easier if you have uh, are doing it the way he's got it, where it's like the whole back is off, so it's easier just to slide these in. But yeah. <clears throat> my goodness. Oh. All right. Maybe if I pull back on just a little bit, I can. Unless it's. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to go in this way. Okay. Slide in from the top of my butt. <sighs> Pain. Pain. In, breathe out don't stop breathing remember don't stop breathing oh I got it I got it okay so that's L1 done. I just gotta get R1 done. Okay, cool. So that's them done. And then L2 and R2.
What the heck? Oh boy. And then once again, the triggers are not as easy as he made it look to get back in. Pretty far for the course at this point. Oh, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, yeah. And then we'll R2 a minute. He made it look so easy. I thought we could get through like all of these in like a couple of hours, but I guess not so much, huh? Well, as long as I can get these together and working still, I'll consider it a win. Okay, so that's both of them back in. Now for the internal battery. I can't remember, does this go this way or that way? It must go this way. Probably, if I'm not sure, I should probably watch the... Move uh, the video back. Well, at least I know which way the little connector goes. Let me see. All right. Gotta get the battery back in. Is that a minute? These two holes there. There you go. The motherboard of the controller back into its slot. And remember that the, the joysticks are connected to that. So you gotta make sure that small pins that need to line up. One's right here. Make sure I took out earlier. Butters back in. You wanna just give all the buttons on the front a quick check to make sure that they all feel all right when they do. Oh wait, no wonder they wouldn't come out. There's a screw or two holding down that plastic bit. Could have taken that out, duh. All right, well, hindsight is twenty twenty. I'm just going to put this together again, and uh, I'll clean it up again later. I think he had a slightly different model of uh, controller than I did, because there's a screw keeping that plastic housing down. I think that's why I couldn't get those motors out, is because there's a screw keeping them down. Oh well. Reconnect the battery, get the back on. Oh, he didn't even like get it all the way in there, I don't think. He just kind of pushed on it and like got it all the way back in there. There we go. Now the battery. Yeah, but I don't think he pushed in the battery as much as he should have. Sorry. Yeah. Reconnect the battery. Get the back on. If you start like this and slowly maneuver it over the buttons and then down, you can get it back on without it over the button. 
you could reconnect the battery, get the back on, This must go like this, right? Pictures, I guess. Um, better should have what us. All right, must go flat on its back. I guess I didn't plug it in the right way. No, I did. This like stay in then. So like oh no. It was like this. No, because that's pressing on the board. Well, the battery is in there. Let me double check if I can turn this thing on. Yeah, okay, so it at least turns on. So at least I have the battery plugged back in correctly. Ah, uh, well, let me turn it off because it's booting up. Okay. Um... But now, I'm trying to turn off the PS3 so that uh, the controller will boot back off. Okay. Oh, so hangs out like that. Right? Maybe. Oh, come on. I was trying to get the back back on, but I was uh, <clears throat> trying to make sure the battery lined up right and the one well, of the triggers came off. Yeah, that didn't work out. Okay. I got to put the trigger back in. Okay. And then I think the... Very just... That... Funky, but it it's like that. Okay. Well, see if I can get the pack back on. Come on. Come on, baby.
battery not right position. Hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. Oh boy. I, I hate this. Sorry, I subjected you to all this. I'm sorry, I subjected myself to all this. Good lord. All right. Yeah, I think the battery's in clunky. Battery's not supposed to be it. Maybe if I uh, clean it up like this. And like, there we go. I think that did it. No, there's still something on the. On the one side that doesn't want to go together. It's weird that the battery has like these prongs that look like it's supposed to go into place, but it doesn't have a place to go into. Unless it's supposed to go into a place on the bottom of the construction of the controller, but like. Oh, gosh, dang it. Oh, the trigger just came off again. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Just trying to put this back together because at this point it's been a bit of a fail. Uh, the dual shock controller was a bit more complicated than I was. Uh, expecting and it was a different version than the tutorial i was following things did not go well so i'm just trying to get it back together but uh you know we'll see how it goes okay <clears throat> right now my biggest problem is like the battery it has these prongs on it which make me think that it's supposed to go like the prongs are supposed to fit in somewhere but they just don't so that has been a lot of fun um okay i wanted to clean three of them out and i only got like as far as getting the back off of one and then i tried to get the motors out and they just would not come out i think now that the reason is because uh i had a slightly different version of the controller than he was uh had in the tutorial and so mine had a uh screw that was keeping the uh motors down but i'm not gonna like pull them all out and pull out the screw and like do all that now i just want to get this one back together so i have all of my controllers back um I don't know. Maybe I'll try this again, something similar again sometime, but it'll probably be a project I'm a bit more familiar with next time than uh, trying to do something like this. Or at least I'll know ahead of time PS3 controllers are going to be a pain. If I, like... Sure, good battery to me yeah okay so it's supposed to fit there okay so i think it does fit there if i just do this without the uh... 
triggers a minute. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense, because this has to go in there. Where's the battery supposed to go? What? Where is this battery supposed to go? How does this fit in here? It feels like it shouldn't even fit. Like, there's kind of a room for it, but like, not really. Oh, okay, there is room for it. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll pop this back open because I got to put the triggers back in and then do that again. Okay, so I think my best bet is to... All right, let me get the triggers back on. There we go. Okay, there's one trigger back on. What's your favorite controller of all time? Xbox 360 controller is my controller of choice. That's what I usually use uh, when playing PC games that uh, require a controller or I need one. It's the controller I've just put the most time into games with um, and everything. And just feels good in my hands at this point. I have actually taken those apart and cleaned them before and they were nowhere near as complicated uh, as this dual shock controller that's why i thought i could do the dual shock controller is because i took apart a xbox 360 controller before and i'm like oh they're around the same like age i could probably take one of these apart um spoiler my hubris was my downfall one um that in the difference in uh type yeah maybe next time i'll try I have some older Xbox controllers, including the Duke, the large one that needs some, uh, that could obviously use some cleaning and stuff. So maybe that would be worth like doing next time. Or I have like an N64 that just needs cleaning, um, a Wii that needs cleaning, stuff like that. So, uh, maybe I'll do that kind of stuff instead, instead of like this little complex thing. Cause like, it should be as simple as just like taking it out of the plastic, like the board and the mechanical parts, taking it out of the plastic, cleaning the plastic and like putting it all back together. But, um, yeah, it was a bit more complicated and like there was, it was a different version than the tutorial I was following. And at this point I'm just ready to put it all back together, hopefully, and make sure it still works <laughs> rather than try and like, uh, keep trying to pull it apart and everything anyway for now let me make sure that the battery lines up fine with the back let me okay so let me do it this way so this is the big problem here is this battery it's got to line up right with where the battery needs to be fit so we're gonna line that up and then we're gonna pull up I'll lift this up and make sure the triggers get in just fine. Cool. I think. Got it. No. Okay. I think battery slightly over the right of where it needs. I think. Oh, please don't tell me that. Okay. The triggers pop off so easily when uh, trying to. Like the uh, L2 and L and R2 one. I don't want to break anything, but at the same time, it probably needs a bit of force to, like, get in. So I'm trying to, like, see here. 
Uh, can I... Can I do this over with, uh... Driver? Oh boy. It's so weird. How did they get the battery in there? Like it's it feels like the battery should not fit. It just feels like the battery should not fit. Like there's no space for the battery it feels like. Why did they even do an internal battery? Uh one day it will fail, and all of these will have to be replaced anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's where the battery should be. Maybe it's too far forward or something? don't understand. Holy cow. This is like so bad. The whole project has been so bad. <laughs> well, at least I got to try something different for stream because usually streams are me just playing video games. Like this is the first time I've done something that's other than just playing video games. So, you know, learning curve. Um. How's it going? Terrible. I'm just trying to put this thing back together at this point because I could not get it apart properly. I got to taking the back off and like the motors would not come off, which I think is a version difference with uh, my version of the controller to the tutorial I was following. Uh, um, because I think there's a screw holding down the motors, which was not present in the tutorial I was following when you're... Uh, like it was just a different version of controller so at this point i'm just trying to get it back together uh the main problem is that the battery just does not want to fit in it is trying to be cool and different and it's not trying to fit in and it's like very aggravating it just feels like there's not room for this battery like why did they even do an internal battery uh... okay It should fit. Should. Like, I know it fit at some point before. I just can't figure out how. How in the world did they get this battery to fit in here? What is keeping it up on the right side? Like, there's something that's making it push up on the right side. Yeah, like these uh here. these motors here were my downfall they have like two like plastic tabs that refuse to come out um and everything so like it still turns on and everything like if i press the power button it'll turn on and everything though so that's good i'm just trying to get the back back on so it like you know it works and everything. oh shoot uh, triggers came out, so I'll have to put those back in, in a minute. See, I even got it in, like, without the triggers, I think. Didn't I? The triggers are... Are the triggers the problem? Because if I... Like, put it in. Okay, so here's where the battery goes. Then I just kind of... Why did you... Just... Oh, well, I wanted to clean them out because it is pretty grody in there. Like, there's hair in it and stuff, right? But most specifically, like, this one... Um, I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. There it goes. You can see, like, the thumbstick has had a bite taken out of it on the right one there. Uh, or this one or 
your left, my right, this one here, and like this one's also like all rubbed off. So I got some like replacement thumbsticks and I was just gonna take them all apart and like clean them and everything because they're second hand and they're really, you know, they're getting kind of old. So there's a lot of like grime and like uh, gamer sweat on here that's just built up but uh yeah i thought i could do it because i've done it with the xbox 360 controllers but the xbox 360 controllers a don't have a lot of version differences and b uh aren't as complicated to like get apart so that was my biggest downfall is thinking i could do it i guess and not realizing that there were like version differences and stuff Can I get this together without the thumbsticks? Or sorry, not the thumbsticks, the uh... Okay, so there's the battery... A bit farther up. Make your dog do it. Oh, it, it actually wasn't my dog. All of these are secondhand. I don't have any childhood memories of the uh... uh also, my dog is dead, um, and he never chewed on any controllers. He did like to chew through tennis balls, though. Sorry, bit of clickbait there. Um, burr, 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 burr. All right, clearly it was somebody's dog or kid that chewed on those thumbsticks, right? But, yeah. Uh... Holy cow. I can't even get it in there without the, like, triggers. I can't get the battery in. How does this even go? I thought I got it before. Maybe if I... Yeah. I guess next time, maybe I'll just do something like... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I chewed on a lot of stuff when I was a kid. I mean, I used to swallow change, like loose change, like coins. I used to do that. So, uh, da da da. Yeah, it's so weird. I thought I got it together at one point without the triggers in it, and then I had to pull it back apart so I could get the triggers back in, but... No, that can't be right. So, like, the flat edge... <laughs> yeah, uh, the flat edge obviously has to go against the board, right? You know, I'm... Or maybe not, because the flat edge is going against the... Because in the example one he had... You could reconnect the battery... There's like a plastic thing to hold the uh, battery in place. Like above the... Uh... Maybe it's supposed to go like that? I thought the prongs were not supposed to go towards the uh, board because obviously you wouldn't want those rubbing up against the board, but maybe they are? All right, let's at least get the... Yeah, that kind of fits into place though. All right, let me... Get the um triggers back in again there's like a little spring on them there that has to like you have to get in right i used i have memories of eating like old pokemon cards like when i was a small child i remember eating a uh hitmon lee pokemon card maybe i should do another moa moemon uh, playthrough at some point. I just can't, like, do another RPG playthrough right now. Like, even on, like, a second account just because... Do you, you think it would give you powers? No, I was a small baby child. I didn't think anything of it. I just was like, ooh, this is interesting. Let me put it in my mouth. Or, like, I'm bored. I'll just... Or hungry. I'll just put this...
But yeah, I guess next time I have like some original Xbox controllers, including like the Duke, you know, that huge one that uh, probably need cleaning out and stuff. And those are probably a bit less complex than this. Or maybe like just taking apart because it shouldn't be that hard to like take apart stuff like this and just like clean the plastic, which is basically just what I want to do. Like um, just take like out the board and like the electronics, clean the plastic, put it back in. You know, that's all I want to do. A lot of moving parts on this. I guess I should have done like those older Xbox controllers because at least they're probably pretty similar to the Xbox 360 controller and I've done those before. Or I have a couple of Xbox 360 controllers. I could even do those. But yeah. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, I'll probably do this again some other time when I have the chance. Um, I think in a couple of weeks here I have Monday off again because of uh, federal holidays or whatever. Uh, and so I'll probably try and like clean out the either the Wii or the N64. Probably the N64 that um, that day. I don't know. Just like here and there, I'll probably do like little extra streams like this where I just try and clean up something and maybe we can mess around with it on stream. Because the idea was, you know, once I get these cleaned up, then maybe we have like, you know, half an hour or so just play the PS3 or whatever. Just play whatever random stuff. Um, make sure it works, but yeah. Okay. Oh, the truth. I got the uh, triggers back in, and I think that's where the battery is supposed to fit. I think so. Let's try this one more time. Just over the triggers. Without pulling them off again. And then we're gonna... Oh. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay. And... Pull down. Do I need to move the battery a bit? I think. Battery needs to be here. This is really funky. Uh, okay. Hold up. I get it? Did not get it. Should be where the battery goes, though. How the fudge am I supposed to get this back together? You're not. That's the point. Mwahaha. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so wait. Yes, this is definitely where the battery goes. Now that I look at it, this is definitely where the battery goes. There's like little clips here that the uh, battery is supposed to go into. Okay. Wait. Okay, cool. The battery is not falling out. Oh, wait. You can't see that. Yeah. Okay, so the battery is not falling out. So that's definitely where the battery is supposed to go. Okay. So then, at this point, I just got to get back back on without breaking anything all right down a bit more oh gosh darn it Would you believe it? The uh, triggers came out again. All right, I guess I maybe should watch what he does to get this back on a minute. Just reconnect the battery. Yep, get did that. On. Makes it look so easy. That's the other thing. I watched this tutorial and thought, oh, this would be so easy. Like, relatively simple. And, like, it was not. Any problems? All right. Well, let's get the triggers back on one more time and try that again. 
Yeah, this has basically been the whole stream, by the way, guys. For those of you who are just here, the last two hours have been me just, like, trying to get... Well, okay, so I spent, like, half an hour to 45 minutes just trying to get those motors off and just kind of, like, stripping down the plastic clips that were holding them in place, pretty much, with my screwdriver. And then I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I need to press a little harder. Well, I don't want to press too hard is the thing, right? Like, you don't want to press too hard and hear something go snap, you know? Uh, and then I was like, well, let's take the back off a different one. And then, like, the screws refused to come out of the one with the uh, messed up thumbsticks. And I was like, you know what? This is just ridiculous. This is getting stupid. And I don't want this to be, like, an all-day thing. Because, like, I have other stuff I want to get done today. Like, I need to get done today. I need to catch up on some of those projects that I was talking about not being able to do for the last two weeks. Baby. Come on. Come on. What's with that tuba? All right. All right, let's try it this time. So the way he does it is, okay. He has it like this. Then he pulls over. Okay, I'm gonna do it from my perspective because no offense, but I need to like. But yeah, I'll probably try something like this again. Um, One sec, let me get this back on before I start like saying I'm gonna try something like this again. I need to actually finish what I'm doing here first. Okay. Got it over the triggers, I think. There's like a little clip that won't... Oh, there we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right, now I just got to put the screws back into it. Um, Hold up. Let me switch over to uh, this a minute and see if it still turns on the PS3 a minute while I grab the screws and the... So if it's still, yeah, it turned on the PS3. Hopefully everything's plugged in correctly so it actually, hold up. I think I know what the problem is. Switch over to HDMI. Okay. Is the PS3 gonna boot up a minute? There it goes. Oh, and you can't see that, can you? There you go. Okay. So, okay. So it still works. Yeah, yeah. I just had to turn off and turn back on the capture card. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Turns out, uh, yeah, I had to set that up last night. Turns out uh, the PS3 has copy protection, so you can't just run a straight uh, capture card through it. That's the new capture card, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's working. The controller's still working and everything, which is good. I assumed it would still and everything, so. Because it was working before, so as long as I didn't break anything, it should still work. But yeah, you may notice that uh, the resolution is slightly higher. I oh, so it's 1920 by 1080. Hopefully, let me see. Yeah, 0.2% of frames dropped. So I think we'll be fine. I'll have to test it with an actual game because obviously right now I'm not playing an actual game. Yeah, so. Also, this layout is a bit scuffed. It probably would be better if um instead of being all the way over there, 
you guys were like behind my shoulder or something. Yeah. It's 30 frames at 1080, but yeah. It's it's probably a bit nicer than uh the 720 max that I had. Uh that I was streaming in before. I guess it's a bit more reliable to stream in 720 for me, probably, in terms of internet. But yeah. But like 0.2% of dropped frames, I'll take that. Especially if we do like um streams where the computer's just uh doing the capture card thing. It's not even like uh. Okay. I think I kept all the screws around. Yeah, it'd, it'd probably be more noticeable if I was actually playing an actual game. I guess I could, but like, I don't know. It feels a little weird just to start a game or whatever, you know, and not like do anything with it. Okay, well, controller's still intact. Uh, I basically did not do anything. It would have been... A better use of time just to wipe these down but yeah i don't know um i guess while we're here let me oh stand up a sec i'll be operation was a failure it was pretty neutral it, it was a tie they're just as grody as they were before and they still work so it's a tie So this is the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Uh, the reset button is stuck on it. Um, so when you turn it on, it like just constantly refreshes like the game. So it'd probably be good to like take this apart. Like look at all that on the bottom and everything. Like this thing is pretty old. Um, it'd be good to take this apart and clean it up so that the reset button actually works and you can actually play it. That'd be a good idea. I I've looked and it's not too complicated, but I thought the same thing about the PS3 controller. But this actually should not be that complicated because the whole idea is just that I take the plastic shell off and put it, clean it up and... No, I'm not going to do it right now. Gosh, no. No, I've tempted fate enough today, thanks. I'm just showing you guys what I have. And then, like, uh, this is the Wii that um I got at like that sale that I was talking about before, the uh, redneck, um, what was it? The redneck uh, uh, Comic-Con or whatever I called it. I kind of cleaned it off already with like um, the outer, sh like the white plastic. But if you, if I like put up the, yeah, GameCube ports. I don't know if you can see too well. They're all black, but they're completely covered in, like, dust and grime and stuff. So this has got to get taken apart and, like, um, cleaned up and put back together, hopefully. It does turn on and everything, and it does run, but I don't want to stick any, like, GameCube controllers into those ports until I get a chance to, like, clean it up and everything. And it was a good find. It was a good, generally a good find. It'd be kind of fun to also, like, poke around in here, because... There is, like, save data and stuff, so it'd be kind of fun to see, like, the Miis and everything in there. We'll probably do one of those uh, next time. Uh, I do one of these kinds of... Maybe I'll attempt the PS3 controllers again on my own time. Oh, but yeah, this is the packaging that the uh, replacement uh, thumbsticks came in, by the way. Yeah, I didn't put them in like that. They came like that through Amazon. Oh, that 
there's a lot of sticks, yeah. Yeah, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's enough there for five controllers, but yeah. Uh, they just came in a little plastic, uh, sandwich bag. But yeah. Oh. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me today. Um, camera might be, you notice, might notice is a bit better too. This is, I got my, uh, old phone working as a camera, so that's kind of neat. Um, it looks a bit better. I think it does a bit better with light than the hundred dollar camera that I bought. <laughs> I don't know. I've been thinking about like, I either need to get a light, um, to go over here for my face and like to light up my face or something. Or I just need to, like, get a better camera that does better in low light. Or not. I can just keep doing the face and, like, stuff. I guess, technically, this whole stream is kind of... It kind of feels like a bit like a VTuber stream or something, right? Because you haven't seen my face at all. Like, it's all been from, like, the shoulders down. Did we seriously get through like the hour or so of music that was background? Audit? Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, that. Oh. So, yeah, um,. Unfortunately, uh, that did not work out today to <laughs> get the uh, um, controllers cleaned out. Uh, so I'll probably try this again sometime. Like, maybe not the PS3 controllers, because honestly, I'm going to just put the PS3 away um, after this stream is over, because I'm not playing anything. Well, that's not true. I started playing The Last of Us on PS3 uh, while computer was broken so like a good like the person i am i'm just gonna like stop playing it probably here and like walk away from it and then in two years i'm gonna be like oh i should play that or maybe i will actually finish it on my own time i don't know at least not it's not gonna be this week at least and then like after um no it was originally released for ps3 PS3 was the original release. There is a PS4 release, but it's like uh, the enhanced graphics edition and all that kind of stuff. It still looks really good on PS3. You know what? I can actually show you. Let me go grab it. Like I said, I don't have like a lot of childhood memories or anything of the PS3. So this is just a collection I've built up over the last couple of years. Um, I think I've got everything really notable for that's exclusive to the PS3 that I can think of. Um, maybe there's like God of War or something that's exclusive that I haven't gotten. Um, all the Uncharted games, Thief, there's The Last of Us, Nino no Kuni, Kingdom Hearts stuff, Infamous, um, and then just a couple of other things. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 and I guess of Earth. Come on, I got this uh, new capture card. I might as well show it, right? All right. This. PS3 stream. I don't know. I have no idea, dude. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I'm just trying to, like... I just want to try out my new capture card if I'm being completely honest. It's so what I used to do before is um have a splitter so that uh and yeah, there it goes. Uh I used to have a splitter so that I could have yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I because the capture card I was using was like, oh, sorry. The PS3 does not play well with capture cards. Uh, let me mute it until. Let me mute the capture card until we actually get through here. It's probably putting out a lot of uh, garbage noise, doesn't it? Yeah. So the way you have to do capture. Yeah. Okay. I have to unplug. Hold up. This happens. This happens. So, okay. The way you have to do uh, uh, capture on the PS3 is it has copy protection, so you have to run it through a uh, splitter, an HDMI splitter, uh, to get around the copy protection. So the uh, stuff that doesn't let you record, un unless you mod the PS3, I think. I think you can get it so it doesn't do that if you mod the PS3, but... You saw how well trying to clean the controllers went. I am not doing that anytime soon. Um, All right. Yeah, it is. Man, I had it working last night, too. Isn't that just the way? I think I literally had this problem before, too, with uh, the last cop, uh, the last, um... Capture card. Where, uh, it would, uh, do the strange noises thing whenever you, uh, every once in a while. Um, ba -ba -ba. If I deactivate and reactivate, but I'm not getting anything on my end either. It's alive. I, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then if I... Okay. And then the sound's fine again. Okay. There we go. Well, it was fine until we tried to get into the game, and then... Oh. Oh, you know what I think I have to do? Hold up. Yeah. I think I have to, like change a setting in the PS3 for it to work properly. I also got to disconnect from the internet because it keeps trying to get me to uh, update the game. And I'm like, uh, I don't need to do that right now. Now is like the last time I need to like update the game. Come on. Okay, yeah, because I've had this problem before where it's fine in the menus and then like as soon as you get out of the menus, it's like. 
Um, what I think it is, if I remember right. Is it the audio settings or the, I think it's the display settings. Yes, it's the display settings. Uh, if you set it to, uh, actually, no, there's video output settings. There it is. HDMI custom. E. I think it's one of these. He's up eight. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of all of these then. Well, because I I fixed this problem before. Cancel. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Okay, Does that fix it. Let me uh, <laughs> start the game again and see if it uh, does funky stuff again. So far, so good. Come on, baby. Oh, right. It wants me to like update it well at least it's not making horrible screeching noises anymore how long does it want to update okay whatever 10 minutes six minutes five minutes Four minutes. Man, we're going... These are pretty fast minutes, I gotta say, though. All right, whatever. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll try. I'll play a little bit of The Last of Us. I'll play it. How about we do a little bit of Last of Us for, like, half an hour or so? It's always like this with updates. Oh, yeah. And then we're gonna get, like, 50% in, and it's gonna say five more minutes, you know? In the meantime, I'm gonna... um. Give me, like, one sec while this updates. I'm going to, like, get rid of this large tub of water that's on my desk currently. Because it feels unsafe. It was meant to be used for cleaning off uh, plastic parts, but now it just feels like a liability. So I'm going to clean off that a minute and wash my hands. Nice fish tank. <laughs> it's not like that big. It's just like um a little like uh food container, like a plastic food container with water in it. So 93, 92, 90, 88.
Maybe I could put some goldfish in it. I don't know. I feel like water... Like a large tank of water in my room feels like a bad idea. It just feels like I could go wrong in so many ways. Like maybe a nice little fish bowl, maybe. I gotta say, though, I'm really digging having all this desk space. Um, I've got a lot more desk space now with this new desk that I put together. It's really nice. Here, while that's uh, booting up, let me do one other thing. Um, <laughs> desktop. Start that up a minute. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, it's in the wrong spot because I changed the uh, resolution of the base. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. I think it will, unless the uh, program does not want to... Oh, is it on the lower screen? Hold up one sec. Oh, that's why. Uh, ba -ba -ba. A microphone device. There we go. Oh, it was using the uh, capture card to base whether or not I'm talking off of. That's fun. Let me turn off Google Chrome in the background, too. This will be a nice test to see if my game, well, if uh, 1080p works for... Uh, games too yeah i definitely wouldn't have had space to like try and you know clean up things um on the old desk it's a nice l shape um but it was a pain to get together because it's a bit more complicated because of that l shape but i have a lot more room now and the desk is lower, so I'm actually able to put my uh, TV, like little TV, underneath my monitor that I've, hey, Legacy, that I've uh, mounted to the wall. Happy freaking New Year. Happy freaking New Year. How's your, uh, how was your Christmas? Or Hanukkah or whatever uh, winter holiday that you celebrate. Oh. Is it still monster noise or? Hold on. I'm going to mute until one of you tells me if that was monster noise or not. Because I literally cannot tell. Because it sounds fine to me. But, like, I cannot tell from my end if it was monster noise or not. No, no strange noises? Great. Perfect. Lovely. Um. Oh, yeah, this had multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Here, we'll start with the, uh... We'll skip the intro. And we'll go straight to the first actual level, and we'll just play through that, I guess. And we'll just do it on normal, because I'm not particularly good at this game. <clears throat> Here, I'll turn it up a bit, because... Yeah, that'll probably be good. Let me know if it's too quiet or too loud, by the way, once we actually get in-game. Oh, maybe it should be a bit quieter.
Yeah, the game looks very pretty. Um, and the story has been pretty good so far. Come on. PS3 is giving it, uh, giving my PS3 a bit of a hard time to load it up a minute, though. Oh, yeah, how's your uh, Hack 2DS XL? What did you end up uh, putting on it? Play, you see. always that last little bit of percentage points that are the problem come on come on come on baby hit me one more time come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. But yeah, the uh, game had multiplayer. It's kind of interesting. Like, got crafting supplies to, like, loot um, from central locations, so you get to fight over that and all that kind of stuff. Oh, there we go. still open. Well, you got a few hours left until curfew. Well, we better hurry up then. Wait, are you serious? I gotta serve the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Oh, that's such crap. Soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. I'll make sure it's not work. See if I can remember all the controls from like five days ago. Hmm. Okay. Attention. Citizens are required to carry a certain ID at all times. Compliance with all city personnel is mandatory. Look at that. Ration line hasn't opened yet. We must be running low again. Oh yeah, by the way, brew uh mature game by the way. They're scanning to see if they're infected with the zombie virus a minute. Looks like she was infected. Seems like more people are getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking out. I got us all new papers. They mm -hmm. shouldn't give us any static up there. Yeah. Just play cool. I think she was just executed, so yeah. She is screwed. Game's too loud. One sec. Okay, that should be a bit better. See you later. There you go. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right, move on through. Thanks. Ooh! Okay. Looks quite good for a PS3 game. Yeah, it really does. I'd be kind of interested to see what it looks like on the PS4, too. The, uh, 
outdoor areas are pretty good too, so which the you'll see here soon. Patch yourself up, all right. They're gonna close all the checkpoints. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. <sighs> Cute. Hey, Ted, yeah. I'm sure. Shit? Didn't they do that and then charge like 50 or 60 solid. bucks for it? It's clear. I just used it. No and it was like more than what it you, you paid for originally you when too? you bought the like original game or something. Marlene? She's been asking around. I thought they did. Marlene? What do the fireflies need with Robert? You think she'd tell me? I think they did. It, if it wasn't that game, it was like another PS3 game that they did that with, but I think it was this one. Military's going to be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Marlene looking for Robert? What do you make of that? I don't like it. We better find him before the fireflies do. us hey guys how's it going <sighs> shit's stirring up out there how are we looking over here uh, it's been quiet no signs of military or anxiety that's what i like to hear joel give me a hand with this oh the bottle didn't fall off this time Last time I did this, the bottle fell off. Oh, God, this place reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. Is there blue light? Right over here. I don't remember what the uh, flashlight is, but I don't think we have the flashlight yet, so let's go grab it. Backpacks are still here from last time. Not a lot of ammo. Mm, make your shots count. Yeah, it's best to avoid confrontation whenever possible, especially if using ammo. All right, Texas. Boost me up. There's the flashlight. Where's the prompt? I need the prompt. Game, I will boost her up. Just give me the prompt. Oh, I have to do it over here. My bad. There we go. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Um, right now, um, Persona 3 Portable, so the, uh, per, uh, the port of Persona 3 to the PSP is supposed to be coming out on Steam, uh, in a couple of weeks here. I think January 16th, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head. Um, so, um, the plan is to try and get, you know, the completionist done for Persona 5 Royal. And then I'll play um, Persona 3 Portable, which shouldn't take me nearly as long as Persona 5 Royal did. Uh, and then once that's done, I will probably take a break from streaming Persona stuff and like probably stream some other games or whatever. So, but yeah, it'll probably take me at least like a month to get through Persona 3 Portable, even if it 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 won't be as long as Persona 5 Royal was, but uh, it'll still be fairly long. I think I got to make my guy a little bit bigger. He looked pretty big when it was like 
1280 by 720, but now that it's like 1920 by 1080, he does not look quite as big, big does he? <laughs> Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. I got your ways. Where's the ladder? There's got to be around here somewhere. Unconfirmed a ladder. I didn't know where this is. Hey, try over there. Where are you pointing? Oh. Yeah, that's where I was. Oh, okay. It was on the other side of this car. Alrighty. Got it. Great. Bring it over. No, I think I'm good on the tutorial. Thanks for giving me the option, though. I appreciate being given the option for a tutorial, for a tutorial rather than being forced to do the tutorial. Ladies first. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. Just double checking, but I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of loot in this first area because this is like still we're still kind of in the tutorial zone. This is like the first time you actually get to play the game, but there's still not a lot to do, really. Hence the uh, other character going along with you, showing you what to do and like tutorializing stuff. So obviously she has to die later because uh, <laughs> that's just how video games are. Down through here. I don't think we'll get that far, though. You think Robert still got our gun? For his sake, he better. Well, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Oh, well, meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo. Well, he always shows up with something. Should keep us busy for a while. Oh, they mentioned Bill. Have I played Cyberpunk 2077? No. I don't know if I'll ever play it. It still doesn't look quite ready for player consumption. And it's been, like, how many years now? I don't know. It looks like, even after it's been fixed up and everything, it looks like a pretty but mediocre RPG. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't bought it. Maybe if it comes up for free on, like, Epic Game Store or something. I just... I don't know if I want to buy it, you know? There's a lot of other games I'd like to play, so it's kind of like low on the list, I guess. There's our culprit. Body's not that old. Better keep your eyes and ears open. I should be able to fit through here. Holy shit! You okay? Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Easy. <coughs> watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. Don't, don't leave me to turn. <coughs> Please. What do you want to do? Poor bastard. <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm. What's over here? Oh, 
See if I can get a good headshot off on one of them. Ah. Ah, get off! Protect me, NPC. Thank you. All right, that's all of them. When in doubt, leave the NPC with infinite ammo to kill the enemies as much as possible. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think Cyberpunk looks cool, but it's still pretty buggy. Yeah, and it, um... Uh, at the end of the day, the systems in it and stuff make it look like a fairly... It's an okay RPG, but it's not crazy good. Like I Am Legend or something, yeah. You know, like, uh... The game's pretty e easy to be cheesed on the combat side. The lead, uh, the choices are not super important that you make. You know, like, none of your choices are super important for how the story plays out. Stuff like that. Yeah, the story is really good. The gameplay's pretty good, too. We have to bust out a window. I'm trying to remember how we get out of here. I think we... I think this is just a side room. I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah, up the stairs. Oh. More loot? I think there's more loot in this room, if I remember right. i misremembering. Oh, wait. What's this door? Uh, note and oh, note to brother. Hey, brother. We were so close. I'm sitting outside the walls knowing we'll, I'll never see the inside of the zone. While waiting for the smuggler to show up, we heard a squad of soldiers approaching. In our panic, we ducked into this building in hopes of hiding from them. None of us noticed the spores until it was too late. We're all infected. We have a few hours, maybe a day at most. I hope the smuggler's still coming so that I can at least pass this note to you. All right. See you later. Have a good rest of your day. I should have listened to you and come to the zone with you when I had the chance. Now it's too late. Yeah, no problem. They got infected trying to sneak into the zone. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Maybe it'd be fun to do a full playthrough of this game on stream at some point. Um, I'd like to do more non-Persona streams at some point, but uh, right now they're kind of taking up all of my focus. It's hard to put, like, do a second game when I'm already playing, like, two JRPGs that take up a lot of time for grinding and stuff. So... All right, I think if that's pretty much it, I think we're gonna call it here. Although it was pretty good to get a chance to uh, test the um, better graphic settings and see how well my internet did with them. Just build to get you some of them air fresheners. Hey, they weren't expired. That'd be a good idea. Cover the entrance. I got it. Alrighty. I'm going to wrap it up here. Today has been an interesting stream, but I got to get some other things done today. There's a lot to do. So uh, I just got to think I got to call it here. And um, damn it. I'll see you guys again Myself. next weekend or, or I guess this weekend for uh, Persona 5 Royal. I got to go yeah. start working on some of that kind of stuff. So, okay. um, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. Uh, and in case I don't see you, hope you have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. We'll see you guys all later.